Good morning, everybody. It's Hartman. I'm back with Swanee Ridge Outdoors. This morning, I'm going to be making homemade McGriddles on the Blackstone. All right, just going to go over some ingredients here this morning. I've got some Jimmy Dean bacon here. I've got Pam, butter, egg, and I've got my batter already uh, mixed up here. And I'm going to be cooking them in these uh, silicone rings from Blackstone. Put them right on the griddle. You can pour your eggs and your uh, your pancake mix in there and it keeps it in a pretty good tight circle for you. Uh, I'm gonna bring you in right here and show you my setup on the griddle this morning. I'm gonna be using the Blackstone warming rack um, so I can put my pancakes and bacon up here so they don't sit on the burner and get too crispy. Um, and just my normal spatula and stuff like that. All right. Griddle's heated up to about 400 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and put the bacon on now. All right, this bacon's cooking good now. Bacon's one of the best things to use on a Blackstone because of the grease and the oils. A lot of people just season their Blackstone with bacon. Uh, you can use a, break, a bacon press to just push this bacon down, help it cook faster, and to keep it flat as you can. Um, When you get done with this bacon, you're gonna, I'm gonna have to clean this griddle really good to get all this oil back off so that the pancakes uh, won't turn brown or, or black from the top of this thing. Uh, that's just a trick I learned because the first pancakes I ever cooked on here, I screwed them up. Um, but uh, trial and error. All right, the bacon's done. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move it up there to the warming rack. And uh, get ready to cook the eggs next. All right, I'm gonna get these egg rings down. You can spray them with uh, spray if you want to, but they're already in uh, bacon grease. So it's not like they're gonna melt or anything. They can stand pretty high heat. I don't season them up with the Blackstone breakfast blend seasoning. Just a little tiny bit on each one. And let them cook just a few more minutes. All right, I'm gonna check them and see if it's about ready to flip. Hmm. Can't beat that. these up to the rack. All right, stay tuned and we'll get ready to make some pancakes. Okay, so I've got, I just wanted to let you guys know, I've got these two outside burners on low and this one's on off. And it's still, 
well over 350 degrees. And when you're cooking pancakes, you need to let that temperature fall pretty far on down. Um, I got a little water here. I'm just gonna put a little on. I'm just cleaning that area where I'm gonna put the pancakes at. And try to get real good color on them. All right, while this thing's still falling, I'm gonna go ahead and get some cheese on each one of these uh, eggs. There's people around my house, they dig cheese. So while there's sitting there, it'd be a good time to go ahead and put your cheese on so it'll melt and all that good stuff. All right, this is a handy little tool we use around our house. It's an ice cream scoop, but we use it for everything, and it's great for putting just what you want in there. Uh, I put a little butter down right here, let it get hot. All right, now it's time for the pancakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put just three egg rings down. I'm not gonna get ahead of myself here and try to do seven or eight at a time, because that's hard to manage. Just come over here, get you a decent amount of batter And you're just trying to fill that ring up. That's enough right there. I guess it's about three per ring. All right, I'm gonna let them cook kind of slow until I start seeing those bubbles start forming around the outside and, and bursting. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rush these pancakes. This is the most tedious part of the whole cook. All right, to so make the signature McGriddle flavor, we're gonna put a bit of syrup in each one. So the griddle is just barely going right now. Uh, still over 300 degrees, 250 where the pancakes are. So that should be, should be right where we want it. Let's check and see if they're sticking. Mm, nope, don't look like it. All right. I'm gonna try to get these things flipped over. Let's see if we can get this one turned over. All right, I'm gonna get these up on the warming rack and get ready to make uh, round two on the pancakes. We're gonna go round two, more butter on. It's time to plate these things up. 
Get a base. One egg and cheese. And we we'll top it off with a little bacon. And I think I'll put a little, a little syrup on it. Good folks, homemade McGriddle. All right, guys, as a little bonus, I'm gonna have to make some more pancakes because my boys are gonna, that's not gonna be enough for them. So, um, as I'm doing this, I just want to tell everybody how much us at Swanee Ridge Outdoors we appreciate uh, us getting to 100 subscribers this week. Uh, we started doing this uh, a few weeks ago and we, we never dreamed we'd get this many subscribers that fast, and we really appreciate it. Um, I hadn't been able to get over there and get with the guys, but I'm going to be over there soon. And we got a lot of content uh, that we're thinking about doing. We've got so many ideas, and we just don't have time right now to, to get them out there. So it's frustrating, but we're all working seven, eight days straight. And uh, just hang in there because we're going to we're going to get some stuff going. Can't wait till uh, duck season. And uh, deer season's coming up, and uh, God willing, we're going to be getting some stuff done. All right, guys, I got to wrap this up. The rain's coming in again. It's rained all August in southeast Georgia. Um, thank you all for subscribing. We appreciate it. And uh, it's good things coming from Swanee Ridge Outdoors. Thank you.